Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina coming to you with another video. In today's video, this is a highly requested video from my group Side Hustle Cream Creations. Um, how do I add the shoe strain to my tennis shoe tumblers? If this is your first time, first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I shoot cruise tip videos as well as DIY projects every single week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. With the tennis shoe tumblers and the chain tumblers, I tried the UV resin, I tried concrete, none of it worked. So I kind of like threw in my head on that whole adding, you know, that to my tumblers. But then one day I was inside my closet and I remembered that I had this, this, um, quick dry epoxy gorilla glue epoxy so i decided to give it a shot give it a try and see if it worked and it did so i'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to do and just how you can get your clips to be on your tumbler and you don't have to worry about them coming out i have not seen this method done yet so um maybe i have maybe i haven't but this was just something that was my idea and i thought i tried it and it worked so let's um get started so what you're gonna need for this project is your sublimated or your epoxy converse tumbler with your holes already in it. I use a little Dixie cup. You're gonna need something to stir with. I just usually say these after they get dull and use them to stir. And you're gonna need some epoxy, the Gorilla Craft Clear Epoxy. This is what I found that works well with, if you add in like the shoe strain tumbler or you add and change to your trump tumblers, this so far has worked with no problems. I have no issues. I had no returns on any of pro other products that I have shipped out that had a chain or the Converse or shoe strain on it. I tried like uh, UV resin. Uh, I tried some cement stuff and none of that worked. So, I came, I happen to have this epoxy clear and um, it works perfect, perfect. Now this is a quick um, drying epoxy. So you got to kind of work fast once you mix it, but it works perfect. It hardens just like regular epoxy. I'm not, you might be able to use regular epoxy for this project, but this too will only cost like $5. You can pick it up at any craft store. You can grab it at Walmart. You can, um, well, if you're lazy like me, just grab it off Amazon. So that clicks right off. And both parts, A and B, is already in it. And you just want to squeeze it into your Dixie cup. You don't need to squeeze a lot because we're going to do two rounds of this. I usually do these holes first and then I do the second holes. I let them sit for about 15 minutes to start hardening. And then as you can see, I just have just a little bit. So I'm gonna mix it up. You don't need a lot, cause I'm gonna do three holes and then I'm gonna do the other three. And of course I forgot you're gonna need your clamps that I got right off Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description bar on how you can get those. Okay. Like I said, this here epoxy hardens pretty quickly. So you only have like maybe a minute to work with it. Once I get it mixed up, I just take the end and dab some of the epoxy in the middle. And I just do two holes at a time. And because it dry clear, if you get too much on there, it's okay. Cause I'm also gonna put, once I get the clamp on, I'm gonna put some more right on top just for the security. Okay, go ahead and add the next one. I usually have a pair of tweezers. I don't know what I did with it. But you just lay it on now. And let it start drying. 
And like I said, it dry clear, so. And I do it this way because even it, while it dry and clear, once you put the shoestring on it, it's going to really cover up this part. And then whatever left, I just scrape it out just for extra security. And I just put right in the hole. I can tell it's starting to harden up. So like I said, you have to work pretty quickly. You don't have a lot of time. And so what I do is let this go ahead and harden. I let it sit for like 15 minutes and then I'll go ahead and do the other side. So um, after this sit for about 15 minutes, we're gonna come back. Okay, everyone, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes and you can really touch it. It kind of feel gummy because it's not all the way dry, but um, everything is in place. So you can now do the other side without anything slipping. So we basically just gonna repeat the process that we did the first time, but we're gonna use a clean cup. I got my clamps and I actually found my tweezers while I was waiting. And, you know, my little stir stick. We're just repeating the process again. Add you just a little bit of the, the um, add a little bit of the epoxy. It was acting like it was kind of hard to come out there for a minute. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and stir it up. Once you stir it up good, repeat the process.
like I said, you want to work as fast as possible because this is a quick dry epoxy. <clears throat> so once you start, you're going to kind of stay with it. can't walk off or anything like that because by the time you come off back it'll be already starting to harden I just use the tweezers to you know just get it in place and then of course I add some to the top just to secure it and like I said this is clear drying epoxy so once you put the shoestring on it's going to, this part right here is going to be covered up anyway. But it's clear. Even if somebody want to change the shoestring, it is clear. Okay, so now that we got the second clips on, I usually just make sure it's in place. And now what I do at this point is I just leave it alone. So um, now that we got both sides in and secure and it's starting to dry, for the second, once this second side come on, I usually leave it for a couple of hours because I want to make sure it is completely dry. So I'm going to get ready to head to work. So it'll probably sit for like nine, 10 hours. But if I didn't have to work, I usually let it sit for like three or four hours. And then I add the shoestring. So when I come back from work this afternoon, I will go ahead and finish up this video. We're going to go ahead and add the shoestring and finish up this tumbler. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, everyone, it's been a few hours. I went to work, came back, and it's, it's ready. It's nice and hard. You don't have to worry about the clips coming off anymore. Uh, as, I, as you can see, it dried cl completely clear. So now we can just go ahead and add the shoestrings. I mean, when you touch it, it's like rock hard. You don't have to, it's epoxy on the top. The bottom is going to hold the clips just nice. So I got these shoestrings, this pack of shoestrings right here from off Amazon and I will leave the link in the description bar and they come, you know, it's a shoestring. So it's two in each roll. So you can get, you can make quite a few tumblers, different color tumblers with this bag because you get two of each color. I was thinking about doing, let me see, do I want to do purple or black? I think I'm going to go with the black. So go ahead and get this out the paper. We're going to, and we're going to string it up. If you found this video helpful on how to add the clips to your shoestring tumbler, make sure you like, subscribe to my channel. Many, many more videos is coming. Also, if you want, you can also do this method if you're doing the chain tumblers. Also, it's the same thing except for you just doing two two um clips. You put the two clips on, let it dry. The longer you let it dry, the harder it get until it's completely done. There's no rotating like in with the two-part epoxy. You don't have to rotate it or nothing. This quick dry epoxy works great for these tumblers. And if you want to see what projects I'm working on on a regular basis, make sure you head over to my, my Facebook group, Side Hustle Queen Creations and become a part of our crafting community.
And there you have it. I mean, you could play around with the string, but there you have the shoestring tumbler. Okay, everyone, the shoestring tumbler is all done. I want to thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you already made it to the end of this video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching.